Ugh. When you haven't used your van for a while and you come back to it to find washing up, still sat in the sink. Good morning, everybody. Um, been a bit absent lately. Been a bit absent. I, um, for those that don't know, my wife and I, we just had a baby two weeks ago. We have a two week old baby, two week and two days. So we've been pretty busy doing that. Doing a whole load of babying. We're all pretty tired, my wife more so than I. But yeah, it was going okay. It's going alright. Baby boy. Uh, Abel, we called him. Baby AB. <laughs> AB for short. Um, yeah, everyone's healthy, everyone's fine. Just uh, my wife and I are just trying to get into a routine. Uh, and I'm back to work now, so I've got a full week of van jobs to do for people. A few, quite a few weeks of uh, work to do for people. Oh, if you need any jobs done in your vans, uh, electrical, solar, heater, diesel heaters, that is. Um, anything, really. You let me know. Um, another thing to point out is that the Fiat Giacato is for sale. If you haven't seen the van tour video, go and click on that card up there. You can go and watch the van tour video. That van is now for sale, so if anyone's interested, drop me an email with your offer. Luke'sVanLife at gmail.com. You can drop me an email there. Make me an offer on the van. Um, I know what I want for it. Uh, the money that I want for it is kind of in the middle of the road. If you look around for camper vans for sale, I think we haven't charged extortionate amount. We haven't charged too low. Um, we've, we're right, right in the middle. Um, and we need to sell it now because uh, my wife's not getting very good maternity money. So... Yeah, she's not working, so we really need to sell that van and get some money to cover our bills for the next so long. So yeah, drop me an offer if you're interested in that van. Uh, email address is down below. Okay, so this video is just to let you know what's about to happen with the channel. Some very exciting content coming up for you very soon. Not only once this Gigato sells, we're going to be starting a brand new project, brand new build. But in the meantime, in between that Gigato and the next van, this van has hasn't been touched for so long uh, and it's been neglected so we're gonna finally get some jobs done on this van which i'm very excited to do this kitchen has not been finished well the whole van's not been finished sliding door the kitchen needs to be finished i think this cupboard up top is going to be extended out so we've got another cupboard up here for kitchen supplies i'm having uh, discussions with companies that make the pods for the side of the vehicles so the sleeping pods the mount on the outside to give you a, a nice widthways bed i want to do that on this van get sleeping pods widthways bed so i'll save an extra couple of foot by having you know i've got a lengthways bed here so by having a widthways bed i um i can save an extra couple of foot and then this wardrobe will turn into a toilet shower so that's obviously going to be going a couple of foot that way and i'll build a toilet shower in that spot that is my plan i've also got a max fan where is it? I have also got a Max fan and a Max shade to replace my cheapo skylight with. This has been given to me courtesy of Leisure Vehicle Services. I will talk more about them in the video where I install it, but go and check. But I will put some of their information down in the video description down below. So that Max fan is going to be fitted up here in place of this real nasty cheap bug collector that I've got here. It just collects spiders and flies and things so that's real cheap and nasty. It's done me for now but I really want to be able to draw air in and out using the Max Fan. So finally I've got a Max Fan to install. That is a tinted version. Also I'm going to be completely redoing all the electrics in this van. Uh, since I did the electrics in this van, even though they're quite neat, I have learned a lot more about electrics and I'm, I'm also going to convert everything over to Victron which I just think is the best product you can get for your van. So I'm going to set up a very neat electrical system in the garage of this van. So for those that don't know, my business was pressure washing, driveway, patio cleaning, and I've got a big garage in the back of this van where I had a big water tank, 250 litre water tank, um, and a big petrol powered pressure washer and all the, all the gump that goes with that business. That business kind of stopped working really in 2020 when we had all the lockdowns, so I now, that's <laughs> my only job, is work on people's camper vans, which I love. I love working on people's camper vans. I love working on vans. I mean, this, my hobby is now turning into my job, which is just the dream, surely. So if I can keep busy doing jobs on people's vans, 
that's that's my goal that's my dream and at the moment it's happening so I have so because I don't pressure wash anymore I have a big garage in the back all checker plate it needs a fresh coat of paint the top half is painted white the lower half is all checker plate it needs a bit of a clean because it has been a workhorse for so long so in that garage is going to be a very nice neat looking electrical system all with Victron components so I'm really looking forward to that so my electrical system currently has been known as sofa so by shifting all the electrics and the batteries into the bag I'm going to get more storage underneath this sofa storage is huge and especially now that Becca and I have a baby we have all the baby paraphernalia that we need to have uh, we're hoping to go away with the baby for the baby's first trip January February so I need to get this van baby ready so yeah I've got to prioritize certain jobs create some kind of sleeping area for the baby safe area for the baby to sleep definitely want to make sure I've, oh, I've got modern and up-to-date carbon monoxide alarms gas alarms smoke alarms um, yeah and I'm hoping with the diesel heater thermostat and this max fan I'm gonna be able to regulate the temperature in here a bit better to keep it at a safe temperature for the baby in here We'll see how that works. That's going to be a bit of trial and error, getting those to work. Where else is here? I've got, a, I'm hoping to fit an afterburner soon to this diesel heater so you can control the heater from your phone anywhere in the world. That's going to be awesome. That's, I think that's courtesy of my very good friend Darren who's hooking me up with that. Um, I've got some reading lights to fit in the bedroom area. Yeah, like I say, I want to get this kitchen finished and I want to copy the worktop that I've done on my Fiat Ducato. If you haven't seen that, go and click on that card up there. You can see what I did in the Fiat Ducato. So yeah, that's been practice. Every vehicle I do, every job I do, it's practice. I'm, I believe I'm getting better and better, but I'm certainly no expert. Certainly at uh, joinery and cabinetry. I'm I'm not great at that yet, but I'm, I'm getting better. So I want to rip this kitchen out and build it again. Also, it's been a long time coming, but I really want to paint this van. I really want to paint this van and I'm not looking forward to it and I would like help if anyone can give me ideas suggestions or even wants to give up some of their time and give me a hand doing this over a weekend then I will supply them with beer and barbecue food you know we're gonna have a bit of a weekend a bit of a camping weekend out of it I think that'd be quite a fun thing to do if anyone is up for that I've also want to make these portholes all the way through I've got the replacements that was very kindly given someone 3d printed the exterior uh, coupling which is going to be um, part of these portholes that I've got here there is something else that I've been working on lately and I will take you to that now welcome to what will be my workshop now this is as big a shed as I could fit into my garden but it is a 12 by 6 foot long shed and I think it's I've never actually had my own man space before and I'm so chuffed with it so when we moved onto this property there was a tiny little shed standard 4 by 6 foot shed or something like that but inside that shed we found a load of old looking vintage tools and I'll show you what I've made over here with, with all these tools a bit of a display area so I've got these old little tools here hanging up these, these old oil cans over here these old drills this is actually a hundred year old electrical wire square spoke shave and a little compass and a little saw and of course oh and there's a little ruler up there as well I remember these rulers from my childhood and also my Luke's van life Neon light, courtesy of Max from Max's Van Life. Go and check his channel out. He can make these for you for your own logos and whatnot. Over this side, I bought a load of pots and hangy things so I can hang, start hanging stuff. But all my tools currently are in the van because I'm traveling and working on people's vans. I have a whole set of tools there. I'm going to start collecting another set of tools here. Uh, I've built, been building these, been building these benches all the way along this side. There's going to be another shelf all the way in the middle. Like over here, I've got power tools down here, sanders and drills, router and a circular saw. This is much an old a chop saw that was given to me. And this is a table saw which I'm going to sink so the table saw is flush fitted with the worktop. The little trusty power oak there. Powering these string lights which are fantastic. So yeah, I'm still setting it up. 
but this is going to be my workshop. Now, I don't know whether you guys will be interested in this. This workshop is being built with van life in mind. It is going to be where I work on vans and I don't have to do it all out on the street anymore. Every van I've done, it's been out on the street. It's been in the cold. Uh, and for jobs that don't necessarily need to be outside. So if I'm cutting doors for cupboards, I've recently replaced the doors in the Ducato for the overhead cupboards. So I can cut them in here, I can paint them in here, I can sand them, I can cut them, sand them, paint, I can prep them all in here. And there's loads of jobs like that, little electrical jobs I can do in here. So this shed, workshop I call it, is, is for van life and for all my van life projects. But there will be little videos here and there well, I'm thinking about making little videos here and there on how to create, how I'm going to create a teeny tiny workshop. Um, so I don't know if that's something that's going to be interest you. Please let me know if you are going to be interested with that because I can certainly use some pointers and tips from people, what tools to get, how best to set up a workshop. I've never done one before. I've got a little mains powered heater down here, but I also want to put a little solar panel on the roof, fit a diesel heater in here, get a little leisure battery in here for lighting and charging bits and pieces so there are going to be a lot of crossovers between what I do in here and van life so I uh, tell you what between you and me <laughs> I don't like it when a, a channel you subscribe to then starts branching into you know once they finish doing their main the main thing that drew, drew you into their channel I don't like it what that then they then start branching into different hobbies and different things and you know you didn't sign up for that you didn't subscribe to that so I want to keep my channel relevant to van life because that's my life right now is all about camper vans and vans and 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 building them so so i, I don't want to do that so i have to let you have to see what you guys think but yeah i don't know whether to include any workshop videos on this channel because it is all going to be for the purpose of building vans but it is it is obviously not in a van it's not I don't, do, you know what, do you know what i'm trying to say i think you know what i'm trying to say I, I just about know what I'm trying to say, but... <laughs> I've got a little mains powered heater down here and it's, it's not good enough, so I would like to get a, a leisure battery in here, a little solar panel, um, and a diesel heater fitted in here. And set, set this up as a 12 volt workshop. And so I don't want to have to have my mains power, other than my table saw and my chop saw. You know, I, I want to be able to charge everything, all the batteries for all my power, uh, battery power tools and, and things off of inver uh, inverters and you know, 12 volt, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. Ugh. I haven't spoke to a camera for so long, I'm a bit rusty. So yeah, this is my workshop. We built a huge uh, 2x4 platform for it to sat on, which is all on stilts and all level and yeah, it took us three days to build it, but um, slowly starting to make it into a bit of a workspace. I need lots of things and I need lots of suggestions for it. So if this, if this kind of workshop life is kind of into, you know, you're into it, I, I don't mind making, if, well, I'd like to make some videos, but I don't want to bore everybody. So the idea, let me show the idea. This is a bit of a test the waters kind of video to see whether you'd be interested in kind of workshop videos. The idea is that this bench with shelves, the table saw sunken in, flush, more shelves all the way along, and then the, the bench will come along this way a little bit. Up here, I'm gonna have a load of wood, load of wood stores, you know, for the next, uh, this is all for the next van. So we've got under here, we've got at the moment, we've got all the dodo leftovers, that's gonna be insulation for the next van. We've got a big 300 watt solar panel here, which is gonna be for the next van, and a load of sheet wood will all be slid down that corner, a little bit of foil. This is all for the next van, all this wood is for the next build that we do. So I'm going to start collecting, I know this is a small fry, but I'm going to start collecting bits and bobs, all the right tools. I'm looking through Facebook Marketplace trying to find cheap things or free things. So I found this little bench, which is great for sitting on and painting and doing all kinds of bits and bobs. So would you be interested in seeing the old workshop video? Um, like I say, it is all going to tie into van life. But winter is coming, and last winter I built that Ducato in the winter, and it was cold. I had this little mains powered heater, and uh, at that time we lived in a uh, first floor flat, so I had to keep dropping out an extension lead out the window and put this little mains heater on it. It just didn't do much in the winter at all, so I've got this warm space right now 
to work in and build vans and hopefully, like I said, get a diesel heater so it'll be even better when it gets really cold. I've also got it voice controlled so I can ask my Alexa to turn the workshop on and off. <laughs> it's the little things, isn't it? So, that's where we're up to. Babying, the Ducato's for sale, Iveco's got loads of jobs to do on it, and I'm building this workshop to be able to build lots of bits and pieces all around van life. So, let me know your thoughts. If you have any suggestions and tips for the workshop tools, and if you've got any tools that you don't use anymore, or don't need. I don't have a huge amount of money right now, but I'm trying to set up this a workshop so I can build stuff. I've never had a man space before, and most men will agree they need a little area, <laughs> even if it is just a 12 foot long shed. I'm comfy and warm in here, and it's gonna be my little space. Whenever I get a few minutes, I'm gonna be out here tinkering. Oh, I'm really happy, really happy. So there we go, that was a bit of a catch up video. I hope you're all doing very well. We're doing very well, we're happy. My wife is um, tired, doing the overnight feeding, etc. with the baby, but she's doing really well. And uh, yeah, I'll show you some pictures of the baby soon. The baby will be coming to YouTube very soon. We'll be doing trips with the baby, of course, in the van, so that's gonna be something exciting to look forward to. I think we've discussed Ireland, Scotland, or Spain for January, February sort of time as baby's first big trip. We may do a weekend with the baby to see how things go, but yeah, first trip in the van with the baby is going to be a good experiment. So, uh, so it's going to be lots of exciting content for you all. Um, so happy that everyone's watching videos, and huge, huge thank you. We've got over ten thousand subscribers in the end, so uh, massive thank you to all of you. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. If you need any van work done on your vans, give me a call. I'm now travelling, like a few hours from me. Southeast of England, let's, let's limit it there for now. I am traveling, I've got a job in Taunton coming up, which is a few hours away. Dunstable, I'm driving all over the southeast of England right now doing jobs on people's vans, so if you need something done, drop me an email down. And it, so if you do need van work done, drop me an email, it's down, down below in the description. And I'll see you very soon. Thank you for watching, guys. See you later.